At the nature park today, participants representing their clans displayed traditional items or weavings found in their provinces. From food preparations to traditional designs and paintings or displaying of arts and crafts to traditional music, each group had a story to tell. Beginning in the Highlands region, these two men demonstrated the art of bamboo cooking. This is a popular style of cooking in Eastern Highlands and Simbu provinces, which is now used in some coastal villages. In the southern region, women from East Kerama in the Gulf province displayed how they weave mats and baskets either to sell or give as gifts. Lavai Avoy explains that an experienced weaver can weave up to two baskets a day depending on the size. If you make big ones, it takes a time. A small ones like that, it's no, it's, it won't take a long time to weave. Yeah. And the Trobrian Islanders from Milne Bay also demonstrated how yam is stored in the famous traditional yam house. From the Momase region, Cosmas Kambaru from the Chambri Lakes in East Sipik's Engoram district tells us how he started making carvings as a young boy. Me school long and business. Me can look him long night as all me can walk him. Me no not draw him the paper or kind of same walk him. Stop in his blood. Kambar explains that the art of carving is significant to Sipik men and only the men are taught how to carve. Some play got story, some play normal carving me plus have a walk him. Some play me plus have put him long, uh, front long. House man. No, all big plows, me for walking long him, me plus I put him. He also explained that women are not allowed to make carvings but weave baskets or billooms. Beginning in man, I walk long him, I must line him, I walk in carving. Beginning in Mary, I walk long him, I line him, I walk in basket, and I walk in carving, ah, billoom. Few meters away, another Sipi group demonstrates how Sego is made and stored in most Sipik villages. There are also traditional bilas made from manufactured robes displayed by women in Nawai district and food cooked over the fire in a clay pot, a typical cooking style in the Makam district of Morobe province. Those from the New Guinea Islands region displayed how the famous aigir is cooked while Manus dancers beat the garamut to entertain the audience. The Tsumbuna Day is an important event organized to bring people from different provinces to one venue and showcase what is unique about their culture and the traditional items that gives one an identity in any clan. This is the second time it was hosted at the Nature Park and was attended by over 300 Port Mosby residents, including tourists. Tekla Gunga, National MTV News.